diabetes, my curls are out of control, but they will kind of tame down by the time I need to go to dinner. <laughs> uh, today is actually my birthday, so I'm going to do a good old fashioned get ready with me. I have not done one of these in a very long time, and I actually, last birthday was the first birthday I had not filmed one, so I really felt inspired to do it this year. I am first going to do a little rolling of my face with my little massager, so I'm going to go grab that out of the fridge. BRB. I bought this little set of Tatcha products for my birthday, and so I'm going to use the Tatcha Luminous Dewy Skin Mist. It actually kind of matches my nail polish today, which is Kale Polish Charmed. So I'm going to spritz this on my face, and then I'm going to do a little rolling action here. I'm going to first start by priming my eyelids with the Wet n Wild Eyeshadow Primer. This stuff is really good, especially for the price. I desperately need to get my eyebrows done, and my best friend and I are going tomorrow, so I'm very stoked about that. I kind of like to do all my primers first so that they can kind of sit in while I'm doing the rest of my face. So I purchased this for my birthday because Rach Loves talked on and on about it. This is the Clarins SOS Primer. This is the anti-fatigue one, and I believe this is supposed to have like blurring properties to it as well. I remember in the store reading that. Doesn't say anything on the box or anything on here about that. Really hope I didn't grab the wrong one, but I swear it said something about blurring. A few things I noticed about this right off the bat is it has a very strong scent and it is feeling a little like greasy right now so I hope that kind of settles into the skin because my skin has definitely been leaning more oily than dry these days. Very, very different for me so I'm going to hope and just pray to the makeup gods that this does not make my skin look super greasy. I'm going to be using the Dior Backstage Foundation today, but I am going to do my eyes first. First, to start with eyes, I'm going to use Lucy from the Kristen Leanne collaboration with Urban Decay because this is like the perfect all over the lid shade for me. For the eyes, uh, it's my birthday, so I'm going a little dramatic. I love the Dream Street palette. It is honestly one of the palettes I go to every single day to do my makeup. So I first start with this guy here and I pop it in the crease and I like to use this as my kind of like a best friend shade that kind of marries everything together. Then I jump a little bit darker and kind of go down in the palette and pop that on the outer corner and in the crease as well. I like this shade because it complements my skin tone I feel like. And to deepen out the outer corner, I go in with that matte brown. I love this matte brown. It's perfect. It's not, you know, too dark or too light. It really just kind of meshes everything together super, super well. Then I want to go in with a smaller brush and take that beautiful, vibrant, kind of pinky red and pop that right in the crease. And I want this to kind of be seen when I have my eyes open. And that's super important to me because I have hooded eyelids, so I need it to be Kind of up a little bit higher than you might expect but I end up liking the way that it looks at the end so then I am going to move on to the eyelid and I'm going to use my ColourPop single eyeshadow in the shade Kathleen Lights I love this so much that this is actually my second one that I've purchased of these it's beautiful and so pigmented super easy to work with as well so I love that shade I think it's actually a color that I wore for a previous birthday just because I really love the way that it complements my eyes, my skin tone, my hair, all of that jazz. Then this is a new product I actually just recently purchased. This is the Milk Makeup Eye Pigment in the shade After Party. And I popped that on the inner corner, like inner tear duct area just because I wanted to use it because it's new and it's gorgeous. Now I'm just gonna spend a little bit of time blending all of this together. I did end up taking a makeup wipe to kind of clean up the outer edges because I felt like I pulled it out a little bit too far. I'm going to tight line with a liner from L'Oreal. This is the L'Oreal Longwear Eyeliner in Black the, from the Infallible range. I think I want a little glitter on the eyes because I'm feeling a little extra. I'm going to take the Pixi gl uh, Little Glitter Guy in Crystalline and it's white and I'm hoping that it will really just be like glitter and not a lot of color, so let's hope for the best. 
Now these do have fallout from what I remember, so <laughs> gonna try to not fuss with it a whole lot. I do wanna do some liquid liner. This is the Revolution, Makeup Revolution new liner. It's like the gold packaging. I really do like it, it's super black. Let's see how it goes over this glitter. I'm scared. I'm gonna let this dry first. Should I let it dry? Should I do it wet? <laughs> I don't know what to do. First time I'm trying this, this is the Dior Backstage Pop Foundation, and I actually had to like hunt this down. It was not at any Sephora near me, so I had to go kind of far for it, but hoping it's worth it. I, I picked up the shade 0N. Did some brows too, my camera kind of died I think. I do really like the finish of one coat of this, it feels nice on the skin. I am going to layer a little bit for every day, I would just leave this and be fine with it. It is my birthday today so I'm going to kind of kick it up a notch. I feel like this is a good shade for me, when I first put it on I thought it was going to be way too yellow, but I am very neutral, like my face is very cool but my skin is very neutral so I want to kind of play off of that and not play off so much of the cool tones in my skin so I tend to go for like a neutral if a brand offers it and I do really like the way that it's matching my neck I feel like it's a very good match and I like that they have you know cool shades very rosy tones but they also have neutrals and warmer tones as well I just full-on kicked the camera so <laughs> I hope I figured out where it was placed for concealers today, I'm going to use the Makeup Revolution concealer in the shade C2 to kind of try to hide my little red splotchy blotchy skin. And then I'm going to use under the eyes the Hourglass Veil concealer in Fair. I do really love this for under the eyes. It's a very lightweight consistency. And before I go with eyeliner and everything under the eyes though, I do want to use a powder to set my under eye concealer at least. And I'm going to use the Essence brighten up banana powder. I'm also going to do some work underneath the eyes. I'm going to smudge some shadows down there, kind of matching what I did up at top. I'm also going to take a little bit of the Urban Decay Glide On Eyeliner Pencil in Baked and smudge that on the lower lashes to add some kind of gold look down there as well. I'm looking very, very pale. I'm going to take my Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I've been using it with like a larger brush than previously because Este talked about doing this and uh, she's brilliant. So I'm going to take this and just kind of bronze up the skin versus like try to specifically contour with it. God, this ring light <laughs> does not do fair people <laughs> any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Favors. Does not do us any favors. For cream highlight, that bronzer definitely helped my skin a little bit. I'm going to add more, but I'm going to use the ColourPop highlighter in Smoke and Whistles. And the way that I like to apply this is either with my fingers or I'll just take the butt of my Beauty Blender blusher. I really wanted to use the new Zodiac collection today. I'm still sad about this. And I'm going to pop this on my cheekbones. You'll notice I have not put a lot of powder on the face. Uh, I set under the eyes and then I did a little bit here. I will add a little more powder once the cream products are kind of finished, but I really don't want to layer the cream products over a powder, so. And I haven't been using a lot of powder in general. I'm gonna go back to that banana powder and a big brush and just kind of set areas of the face that might get a little greasy, 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 oily throughout the day. I'm gonna do lashes today, but other things come first. I'm gonna use this Butter Bronzer from Physicians Formula. This is an amazing bronzer. I've definitely hit pan on it. Probably will be finished soon. I have a backup because I can't live without it. It smells like vacation, and it's great for my very fair skin. I've really been enjoying going back to this palette for blush, so I'm going to combine these two hourglass, hourglass, hourglass blushes together. It gives the skin a really nice flush without being too strong in any kind of color. So I feel like it'll complement all the colors I have going on my eyes pretty well. <laughs> okay, I got this new highlighter and I'm very excited to try it. It is from Dose of Colors and it's the I Love Sarah II collaboration and this is the shade Soulmate and I am so excited. I used just like a touch of it the other day 
it is a lot and I am ready for a lot <laughs> just doused my face in some flower setting spray I'm also gonna do a little bit of max prep and prime and then fan my face all right my little doggie is doing a little bit of barking so just let's let's hope that she does that she stops I'm gonna do mascara one coat of mascara first I'm gonna use the Koki volumizing mascara got this at Walmart Tati recommended it I like it while that top of lashes kind of dry I'm gonna use the NYX lip liner in peekaboo neutral because I'm obsessed with this lip liner it is the perfect everyday shade then I'm gonna use the Koki liquid lipstick in the shade desire it is a beautiful shade perfect for every day and just like a great nude and then I'm gonna put on top of that the L'Oreal Havana lip gloss in what is your shade name lovely lady mine does not have a shade name on it but it's like the peachy kind of one hopefully that helps I'll try to find the shade name and list it below okay before I do gloss I want to let that matte lip color kind of dry down so it kind of stains the lips a little bit I'm gonna do some lower lash mascara same mascara as before this gloss smells really good and it just feels like a like a classic gloss it's very very glossy it is very very creamy which I do like the applicator is like way too big like why do we feel like we have to reinvent lip applicators my lips are not that big no 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 could be because I'm under these lights but I'm gonna add a little bit a little bit more highlight just gonna mush it into my face <laughs> I'm gonna do some lashes I bought these lashes year or two years ago for my birthday it is the Sephora collection faux lash in the shade quill I think that's what they're called so I'm gonna pop these babies on it's gonna take me a minute the makeup is complete but that's not all for this video I actually had Alex go to Target and pick two pieces of clothing I said dress skirt whatever you want and he picked two dresses posted them on my Instagram and then had you guys vote so he's going to come here with both of the dresses right now the mint one is totally winning so if that one fits then that's the one I'm going with I am feeling like my hair looks really crazy I need to do something to tone this down all right you guys voted on Instagram and this beautiful number one I will post a picture make sure you're following me on social so that you can stay up to date with all of my outfit of the days and including my birthday outfit of the day it is a really pretty dress Alex picked between two of them and this one won so I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did let me know in the comments down below give me some birthday thumbs ups because I'm gonna squeeze those thumbs ups out of you and I hope to see you very soon in my next video bye guys